If you want to be truly productive, then you should consider using Notion. Now, I recently switched from Evernote to Notion, and since then, my productivity skyrocketed. The reason for that is that Notion is a very advanced productivity app, but at the same time, it's very complex, so it does take some time to set it up. And since I want that Notion brings you time, not takes it away, I'm gonna show you how I use it in my everyday life for private and business things, so it's gonna boost your productivity as well. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you my top three Notion hacks, so stay with me till the end. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you become more productive and mindful. If those topic interests you, then consider subscribing below and join our amazing community. Now, Notion is an all-in-one workspace that you can use for private and business things. You can create different tasks, projects, you can import data from Google Docs and many different tools. You can create calendars, tasks, checklists, databases. You can link different tables together and so on. It's a really very well functional tool. Compared to Evernote that I used before, it is so much more advanced, which can be a benefit for some, but also a disadvantage because well, it does take some time to set it up. So now let me show you how I use Notion for my private things every single day. All right, here is how I use Notion for my private things. So this is my private account. I have my know-how here, my health data, personal things, books, ideas. There are something, uh, different stuff that I share with others and the rest of the things. Um, now, I wanna first show you how uh, you can use Notion for building or creating habits um, and tracking different uh, habits that you want to set up. So I want to show you my health uh, here notebook. Um, so in the health area, I have my weekly health status. Now, what is this? Actually, I want to show you one of those that is completed. Um, so as you can see here, uh, we have different columns here. You can sort this, you can group by different uh, ways you can you can add different properties you can filter different tasks here uh, or different tabs in this case um, there are many different features uh, you can add obviously and you can add different views now I have a table view then there's a board view a timeline calendar list uh, gallery and so on so you can see different features you can optimize this as much as you want now for the complete one um, that's one of the things. So I'm tracking weekly my uh, what kind of food I eat, uh, some of the activities I I uh, will do every single day, and then I track track my sleep quality, my readiness level, my stress, energy, and so I see how well I'm performing, and maybe uh, I can identify different things that influence my health, for example. So. Um, well, what you can see here, well, that's how I use it. So like all the food that I eat, um, I just mark it if I ate something I shouldn't eat. Um, and I write, uh, well, yes, that I did it. Um, and then I can, you know, here in this column um, or in this row, basically, I can add uh, different notes. And then there's those are like scores from my aura ring, um, stress, energy levels. Um, well, you know, some of my private things. Um, if I had like, if I worked out and my general health status. And, and that's, you know, something you can open this as a page, obviously you can go back um, and you can just move this from, you know, in progress to completed. Uh, you can have different groups, you can assign those things. Um, and it's very simple uh, using such a tool, in this case Notion, um, and those features that you can see um, to create different habits. Um, you can, for example, once you're in here, here you can, like, instead of Monday, I have here a property, which is text. You can here choose, like, multi-select, uh, or you can choose uh, select, for example. And there's one more, um, here we go, checkbox. You can put checkbox in, and you can just check if you did something or not. Um, so there are many different options available, and I really, really loved it. Now, another thing I wanna show you is how I use a notion for uh, creating my know-how basically uh, for reading books and then I'm um, just making a summary of those books now I use this template I'm I think it's from Ali Abdal or Thomas Frank I'm not sure I took from one of those guys the basic template and then I optimize it to, to serve my needs so here you can see all the books that uh, I read there th those books are not all of them uh, but I'm just like copying them from Evernote into this uh, system now and 
Um, those are some of the self-development books that I read in 2019, 2021. Um, so, and some business books as well. Um, so yeah, I, this is something in the process, uh, but that's how it looks like. So I've heard the, the name of the book, the author, you know, what's gender, um, then um, yeah, like when I finished it and overall rating, but that's not everything I see here. For, first of all, here I can sort, like I can just choose fiction uh, or non-fiction books, um, or well, I usually have like everything here. And if I go into one of those books, like The Art of Living, which I just read, and I'm gonna make a review soon about it because it really changed my life. Uh, then here's what I see here. I see, you no, know, I write here the book in three sentences, which is a short summary. Um, then how I discovered it, uh, who should read it, how the book changed me, uh, which actions should I take. Uh, this is something I added new. So after reading this book, what should I do with it? What should I do with the newly gathered know-how? Uh, and then here's the summary and the notes and my top quotes at the end. So for example, how you can use this is, well, you can add here new book um, and then I uh, just basically open it. And here we have a template ready. So it's a non-fiction and fiction um, template. So if you just click on fiction, for example, or, well, this takes, yeah, and we do like another one, new book too, and here we go, and we open the nonfiction tab. Uh, here is what you're gonna see. Just give me a second, here we go. So you can see the whole template in, and that's it, it's super simple. Adding a new books, um, summaries, and all our stuff that are important for you. And that's how I use Notion for my private life and really as you can see um, it's obvious that it skyrockets my productivity skyrocketed because it's super simple to use and it has so many great functions how about my business life well i use notion for my business as well um, and here this is my private account you can see it up here and i can just quickly switch to my business account it's very simple so you can have many different accounts here and it's are something that I recommend doing so that you kind of are separate between business and uh, private life. And here are different different things um, that I have here. So I have different ideas, collaborations, all about my YouTube videos, uh, my team, blog content and research. Also there's a competition part, <laughs> so my competitors are stored in, um, and social media. I'm still adding some different stuff in, but um, yeah, that just so you, so you see how it looks like. Now I wanna show you how I use Notion for creating my YouTube videos. Uh, now, I took uh, this process again. I'm not sure if it was Ali or Thomas. I'm not really sure about it. I'm sorry for that. But I took from both the guys some things because they made uh, the whole setup. I think, yeah, sorry, I know now. The YouTube was taken from um, Thomas Frank. I'm sure about it. But I changed it um, quite a lot um, to, to serve my needs. Um, so for YouTube, here is what you can see. So um, there are different views, obviously, as I've uh, as you've seen before. Um, here we have like different columns. Um, so there's a, the ideas I'm working on. They're just like some general stuff, and and then I just move a video from general to idea once I start working on it. There's a research part, scripting part, a review part, ready to film, which is well what we're doing right now with this video. Uh, sent to editor and all the videos that were published um, and my process usually looks like this I just add in a new video again test um, and as before um, I have some pre-made templates give me a second there you go as a project template you open it up and you see everything in so like status publish date sponsor text etc etc so that's how I use it for YouTube and you can customize this any way you want. Now, one of the good things um, about uh, Notion is that you can use different templates. Now, if you go here under templates, you see, well, tens of different templates that you can just import in um, and then uh, basically customize them uh, to serve your needs. Um, and that's what I did as well for some of the templates. Um, so yeah, you need to spend some time uh, finding the most um, well, the most useful templates for you. Some of them are pre-installed already, um, so this helps a bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, that's how I use it for YouTube. Obviously, I use it for different stuff, as I said before. And you can basically use 
um, Notion for everything you want to. However, I don't use uh, Notion for two things that many people use. I don't use it for journaling. Um, I use still a, basically a journal. Um, so I, I, I do like, I take uh, handwritten notes uh, because I think it's more beneficial. I just like it more, it's easy to write things. I don't wanna forget how to write things uh, with my hands. So that's why I don't use um, Notion for, for this, even though it's pretty, um, well, you could use it definitely. It's, it's pretty strong, especially like if you go into the private section, um, you're gonna find it out and uh, like you, you, can, you can write different templates and so on. Um, and secondly, I don't use it for task management. Obviously, Notion has a pretty strong, pretty advanced system for taking uh, or creating tasks and managing tasks and uh, assigning tasks to the right people. Uh, but I still prefer using Asana for that. It is, I, I think it's easier to set up. Um, it just works well. Um, and I, for now, I'll stick to Asana, but well, if someone convinces me, I might try it. Um, using Notion for that as well. Well, let's find out. Now, before I share with you my top three hacks of using Notion, I wanna show you something else. So here is how you can import or add different stuff, different blocks um, into Evernote. So you just uh, press here um, and you can see different options like text page, you can add to-do list, uh, you can add different headings, uh, quotes, dividers, you can mention a person, date, reminders, emojis, and then there are all the databases, so tables and lists, galleries, um, and you can just add this as an inline into the page or as a full page, which is a separate page. You can uh, obviously uh, uh, add in images, video and audio files. Um, you can embed different things, you know, different, you have Figma here, uh, Framer, you know, different, different popular uh, apps, Loom, PDFs, and so on. So there are lots of different different options available. We can also use different colors like backgrounds and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty simple to use. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it uh, once you start using it. Now, a couple of things uh, that I really love about um, Notion is that you can also have calendars in. Um, then of course, as I said, you can embed different things. It's a pretty minimalistic tool. As you can see, you can add different icons and here you could add uh, background, uh, background images if you want to, um, so, but you can keep it very minimalistic if that's what you prefer. And by the way, guys, there is a free version available. So really cool. Now my top three hacks. Um, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna show you top three hacks of using Notion and here they are. First of all, here I have different, uh, basically, uh, so there's one workspace and here I have different main pages. What you can do is you can use only one main page and then have all other pages as sub pages with, uh, within this one page. And basically on the left side, you're gonna see only one page and then uh, many different sub pages. Now, some people prefer it that way, but I personally like to have more pages uh, because then scrolling or finding uh, data that they're searching for is much quicker, at least in my opinion. The second thing is that you can set a certain page as favorite. So if you go up here, I already pressed it on the uh, right hand side, you're gonna see it up here, uh, favorite. Um, and once you, you set a certain page as favorite, you're gonna see it up here on the left side. So once you stop working on this page, you can just click this again and it's not gonna be seen here. This is gonna save you tons of time. And last but not least, you can import templates from different creators. Uh, like I mentioned before, Ali Abdal and Thomas Frank, I love those two guys. So. Um, those guys and many others created different templates uh, for different processes and you can just import those templates into your Notion and everything works so you don't have to figure out everything by yourself. And this is another feature I really love and one of the best hacks of using Notion. As you can see, Notion is a very advanced app that has many different features and benefits, but it is not the only app that I use every day for boosting my productivity. To check other apps, there's gonna be a video up here somewhere and in the description below, so check it out, click on it, and you're gonna learn more about different productivity apps I use every single day. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn if you want to. And guys, I hope to see you soon. And don't forget to press the like button and follow our channel. See you soon.